Thanks for tuning in to Bourbon Drop. I'm your host, Myron. Today, we've got something a little different on the channel. It is a bourbon mash bill, but it comes from Canada, so it has to be considered a Canadian whiskey. So we've got Canada's king of Canadian whiskey here on the channel today. Bottom Drop, Bottom Drop. I didn't know this, but Crown Royal typically has 50 different barrels in it. I mean, it is a blend of 50 different whiskeys. Most of those whiskeys come from the famed coffee still at the Jimley plant, and that's where pretty much all Crown Royal is produced at. Now, this right here is their hand-selected barrel that they are willing to put out maybe once a year. I think it's once a year that they do this release right here. Um, and I was kind of interested in it. I wanted to get my hands on it. Shout out to my man, Andrew. He came through for me. I didn't necessarily want to buy the bottle because I am not a big Crown Royal fan, but I figured it was good enough to get on the channel and it was different enough to get on the channel. I'm glad I got home, got some air in it. It was a little different when I first opened it up, but we'll get into that in a second. Let's get into the nose. Yeah, that's... All right, that's, that's gotten a lot better. Now I'm starting to pick up some of those vanilla notes. When I first got it home, it just seemed to be all fruits. It was all fruits, it was barely any vanilla, um, and in the glass, it was a little spicy. Yeah, some of those vanilla notes are starting to shine through. It does not nose like a typical bourbon. Um, let's get into the palate. The palate is much sweeter now. From the first day that I got it home, just being nothing but fruits, not really coming off like a bourbon. This palette has gotten, it's still more honey. I will say it's more honey than anything. Honey, white table sugar, it's sweet. It's got a little bit of those fruits, maybe some plums in there, a little bit of raisin in there, and that's pretty much it. Let's go back into the nose one more time. Yeah, it's a little spicy and a little oaky. Um, I am not, picking up the typical notes though, that brown sugar, that caramel, that char. I'm not picking any of that up. And this has the same mash bill as a bourbon. I mean, it comes in at 103 proof. It comes in mash bill wise at 64% corn, 31.5% rye, and 4.5% malted barley. So technically this thing should taste like pretty much everything I have on a bar. Now we all know all bourbons are different, but it just doesn't have that typical bourbon profile that I'm used to. Let's go back into the nose one more time. Yeah, it's still very light on the nose. I do pick up some oak in there, a little bit of that spicy oak, that vanilla's there, that honey's there. Let's go back into the palate. It is very light on the palate. Those plums really do come through. The raisins come through. There is a little bit of graininess that I do pick up on the mid of the palate. It doesn't really finish with anything. That is the weird thing about it. Not that it doesn't have a finish. It has a fruity finish, but I am used to leather. I am used to char. I am used to that chocolate that comes across the back and it doesn't finish with any of that in this glass. I do love the glass though. The glass, the way they put the cuts in the bottom of the glass, the way they raise the uh, glass on the front and the back, the one ding that I'll give this thing, and I shouldn't because MAC-10, that Henry McKenna 10 year used to be the same way. It has a twist cap. I was looking for a cork. You should have seen me when I first got it home, I was pulling trying to get this thing off and it would not come off and something just said twist. But Henry McKenna 10 used to come with a twist cap and you see where that thing is at right now. Let's get into the breakdown. This is a limited product, so you have to ask yourself, is it worth the chase? I would not say that this is worth the chase. It is a decent price. I mean, $49.99 for a limited product these days, it is just not my cup of tea. Would I pay over retail? $49.99, decent price for a limited product. I would not pay over retail for this product at all. Like I said, you have to be wanting something a little different. 
you have to this is this has the same mash bill as bourbon it does say canadian whiskey but you have to be um looking for something a little different would i give it to a new bourbon drinker i don't know if i would necessarily give this to a new bourbon drinker at 103 when i first got it home it warmed me up a little bit even though it's hovering around that 100 proof mark i think a new bourbon drinker could possibly handle it but even myself as an experienced bourbon drinker when it got to the chest it warmed up from the chest all the way down to the stomach will it always be on the bar like i said shout out to my man andrew this is on loan from my man andrew but if i had purchased this myself i would probably try to get rid of it once it's gone it's gone i would not replace it with that being said let the whiskey flow never run out unless you're headed to a drop till next time